Waco is hugely symbolic on the far right. There is not really another place in the U.S. where you could pick that would tap into these deep veins of anti-government hatred, Christian nationalist skepticism of that government. And I find it hard to believe that Trump doesn't know that Waco represents all of these things. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, and the timing is no coincidence. And I, I've heard this explanation that it's it's in the center of the state. There's other ways to get to the center of the state, like Austin. Texas is a big college station. You know, you don't have to go to Waco for that central location on the 30th anniversary. Waco, guess what, is changing and has changed over the course of the last 30 years. 20 years ago, it was 60% white. Now it's about 40% white. It's about a third Hispanic and about 20% African American. Um, guess what else? The major employers in Waco rely heavily and take advantage of federal subsidies in the federal government. And you're talking about everything from the independent school district to you know the benefits bestowed on companies there that are getting federal assistance to build things. So I think. There is the symbolism of Waco and what it means to